Tim, how we doing? We have a conversation. Do you know what's going on? You know why we're here? Don't care at this point. I said leave. Bump station mishandling my and having a sexual relationship with an underage is a serious crime. But this predator does not even care. Here are instances where the cops swiftly arrested predators just in time, and justice was served. Inspector J, over and out. I can't make you do anything, but I can ask you nicely, and I'm requesting that you put the knife down. On January 3rd, 2022, a suspected child predator, Timothy, was accused of child pornography and was raided in his house by the cops. Surprisingly, Tim had already armed himself with a knife. I ain't leaving with you, so I can't make you do anything, but I can ask you nicely, and I'm requesting that you put the knife down and that you work with me. Leave. Tim, I can gather that you don't want to have contact with us. To get us out of your hair is to just work with us. Please. This can all be over in five minutes, or we can sit here for hours. We will literally sit here for days if we have to, Tim. Please. That's your option. The strong-hearted criminal wasn't ready to listen to the cops' instructions. He wanted them out of his apartment immediately, so they asked him to put his knife away. Leave. 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 I said leave. Leave. Keep raising that and you're gonna me snap. What can we do here, man? Do you need time to think? Put that thing away. I want nothing more than to put this away, Tim. Oh, no, I ain't putting the knife away. What if we do it at the same time? You're right. And the mother behind you will taste me. I ain't stupid now. Off. Tim, my, my main goal is just making sure that people are safe. I'm more than happy to put my gun away if that's gonna be what makes that happen. But I, I wouldn't feel safe standing here without a gun in my hand if you have a knife open, dude. And I'm not going to tase you just because you dropped the knife. I promise that, Tim. You're a guy. Shut the f up. I'm not stupid. All men are f liars. All the cops wanted was to talk with Tim, but he was not making things easy for them as he kept escalating the whole situation. Put our weapons away. Yeah, you can. And then you can leave. What if we all put our weapons away at the same time? You fold the knife, I put my gun back in my holster, and then we can just keep talking. Let's just take baby steps, dude. Let's just get there. Can we do that? I'm just trying to talk to you man to man. If it'll make it easier for you to think and for you to have a conversation with us, we can all put our weapons away, but we need you to do the same thing. I hope you understand where I'm coming from with that. If I put my gun away, will you fold the knife? I just, I need a yes or a no, dude. I'm willing to do that. No, I'll think about it. You want to think about it for a second? Think about it. Take some time, dude. I know you said before that you don't trust men. But would you be willing to talk to me? Leave. Can you help us out? Leave. What do you think about our compromise, Tim? I put my gun away, you fold the knife? Like we said, we're, we're not going to tase you. We're not willing to do that right now. We don't want to do that. Can we just put our weapons away so we can figure this out? You can do whatever you want with yours. Well, like I said, like Tim. Like putting it in, getting the out of my house. I can't put it away until you fold the knife. Leave. Your family's worried about you. Your mom's been on the phone with family nonstop. They're worried about you. I am too. I said leave. Let's think about all of the things that your family members would miss if, if you make this worse for yourself, man. I have to imagine they're looking forward to continuing to talk to you for years and years and years. Lee. Tim, let's take steps forward in this negotiation. Let's figure something out. The cops expect Tim to make a decision after telling him to put down his knife for a proper conversation. As expected, he was still adamant and was not ready to be submissive to a lawful order. Man, I think you got a perfect opportunity here to make a good decision. You're a perfect opportunity to shut the f up and leave. Well, we can't leave, dude. You're going to. We gotta get this resolved, Tim, before we can leave. It is resolved. Get the f out of my house. In my leave. experience, people aren't this stubborn if they did anything wrong, if they feel like they did anything wrong. So, I mean, with every fiber of my being, I want to believe you that you haven't done anything wrong. But unfortunately, at this point, we can't just leave. And the only way for you to prove that and to prove us all wrong and prove whoever's wrong that sent us here 
Taking care of peacefully. Didn't say bring more dumb mother into my house. I said leave. Well, Tim, we can't leave until we get this resolved peacefully. You're gonna speak in this house. Speak so everybody can hear you, or don't speak at all. I think they're trying to make it so that we can have a conversation, Tim, without getting distracted. I don't know what they said either. I don't care. Leave. The cops made it clear that Tim would have to follow them to their custody, but Tim was really giving the cops a hard time. Do you know what's going on? You know why we're here? Don't care at this point. I said leave. Tim, I'm going to be straight with you right now, okay? We're going to take you into custody. You can leave. What's Listen, you do? there's an easy way and a hard way, right? We don't want to get hurt. We don't want you to get hurt. You going to come with us? The cops, now left with no option, had to force their way through to apprehend Tim. But what happened next was shocking. Do it right now. Stand up with your hands up or you're going to get shot. Last warning. Impact, impact. Get up with your hands up now or you're going to get it again. Stand up. Back the f impact, impact. Stand up, Tim. Back off. No. Nope. Back off from a f***ing car. Yep. Tim. Come on, man. Drop the knife. Tim, stand up. You're going to get another sponge round. Stand up now. Come on, Tim. Get do back, it, bud. Get, back. get up. Come on, Tim. Tim. Get up. You're going to get another one. Come stand on, man. Up. Do it again. Put your Just hands stand up. up for us, bud, and it's all done. Put your hands up, Tim, right now. You impact, get... impact, impact, impact. So what you get? Stand up with your Come hands on, now. Come on, man. I want to tease you. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up. Back off. Come on. Tim had swung the knife in the direction of a cop, but the officer's gear happened to be the protector of that officer, preventing the knife from reaching the officer's actual body. The cops realized that Tim wouldn't give in easily, so he was tasered. Despite being tasered, Tim continues to make an effort to harm the cops. Oh, I can't open it. Open it. I can't. Open your hand, Tim. I can't. Get off of me! We will Tim, drop we the will. knife and we'll get off you. Drop the knife right now. Give me, give me my taser. We'll put it right into the arm. Uh, Let go, this is your chance. Uh, He's picking. Tim, I'm slipping. Your yeah. fingers are gonna break, Tim. Ready? Let go. Four. Ah, Let go. All right, we almost got it, we almost got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Quit trying to bite me. I know. Stop trying to bite people, Tim. There you go. Second. All right. I can't f***. first. Watch kick. Fine. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, I'm missing a set of cuffs. After the altercation he had with the cops, Tim was charged with several allegations, which include second degree homicide, failure to comply with law enforcement, and possession of child pornography. This was really bad. Really bad. We spent sleepless nights with that little girl. She'd hurt herself. She'd cut herself. Up next is the case of a therapist, identified as Mr. Wright, who was accused of a 10 year old girl. Mr. Wright was pleading with the judge to reduce his sentence after pleading guilty. We're here for sentencing on a charge of assault with intent to commit sexual penetration, 10 year felony. Mr. Gilbert, have you had a chance to review the pre sentence report with your client? Oh, we have, Your Honor. Any additions or corrections? Uh, there was just one correction, Your Honor, on the first page of the evaluation of the plan, uh, third paragraph down. Starting uh, adopted, it says Dante was adopted. Well, it says he and his biological brother, Deontay, were adopted by the Wrights. Did the Wrights adopt them both? Oh, I misread that, Your Honor. My, my fault. I misread that. Okay, yeah, let's forget that is correct. No worries. The advisory guidelines are at 5 to 23 months for the scoring challenge? I did, Your Honor. Uh, when I went through that, I wanted to point out that I, I, when I went through it, it would be 4. I didn't think she scored at 10. I understand that uh, actual treatment is not necessary on OV uh, uh, 4 for psychological uh, damage, but I did want to read through the reports. I didn't see whether there, there have been any claim of that. And so I was uh, questioning OV 4 
and also I have a question of approving paint. Mr. Wright's lawyer, Mr. Gilbert, wanted to ensure his client's safety and, of course, will do all in his power to get him free. But there was enough evidence and witnesses to get Mr. Wright jailed. All right, go ahead and tell me anything that you wish me to know before I sentence Mr. Wright. Okay. I would like to say that it's strongly impacted the way I think my life every day now. I feel like I can't walk alone in there anymore alone without feeling like someone's going to do something to me. Um, it hurt my mental health badly and I did hurt myself because of it. Um, and during that, it hurt the people around me as well. This, this, this was really bad, really bad. We spent sleepless nights with that little girl. She'd hurt herself, she'd cut herself, she tried to commit suicide, she was stealing alcohol. I mean, I don't even, I didn't even know what to do with you. It was so bad, I didn't even want to give her that side. It was that bad. I made her sleep on the couch so I could hear if she moved and make sure that any time she needed me, I was there. So I, didn't, I just wanted to make sure that nothing will ever happen to her again. I don't, I can't really present it. I will try my hardest to be there for her in anything or something like this. It's not the first time it's happened to her. And it's bad that it happened again. Not by the same person, but it, it sucks to have to deal with this all over again with her. Jessica, the victim's mother, and the victim's 15-year-old sister testified against Mr. Wright, but his lawyer will not let him get a long sentence. So, um, for, uh, for then joining up with him and this incident happening, um, again, I, I believe that 10 points should be scored here because of the youth. Uh, however, I don't know. I, I've been reading through it. I did not think that that purchasing of that was predatory or grooming or that type of thing. Uh, is just because he was in a, even in it uh, as a friend of the people or that type of thing, even though she was under 18 years old. So. The accustomed judge, who was aware of the charges against Mr. Wright but wouldn't have Mr. Wright's lawyer's words for him, proceeded to lay claims against Mr. Wright as the law custodian. All right, I, I do think that that's uh, sufficient evidence of uh, pre-offense conduct where he's gaining her trust, he's providing her stuff that she can't otherwise obtain on her own, he's befriending her on social media, he's obtaining vapes for her, you know, he's an adult, uh, providing a minor with things that they're not allowed to have, and then, you know, he's leveraging that relationship to end up isolating her and sexually assault her. Uh, so I'm gonna score over 10 and 15 points. It doesn't change the ultimate guideline score, but it does increase the OP to seven points. It's still OP level five. As expected, Mr. Gilbert wouldn't want to lose a case, especially one as crucial as this. He is finding all ways to win this case by asking the court to take something into consideration. Of what, of what was happening or how 
most, most favorable conduct was. Uh, so I, I do ask the court to take that into consideration. Um, and as I, as I said, it's obvious that I've been thinking about that getting due to my request for the forensic um, that we passed. The judge inquired if Mr. Wright had something to say, and of course, he did have something to say, but you will be shocked by his words. The judge proceeded to let Mr. Wright know what he was accused of before sentencing him. Here for sentencing on a assault with intent to commit a sexual penetration. It's a reduced charge from the charge of criminal sexual conduct in the third degree. Now, you, uh, you confessed to the police before you even entered a plea here. You confessed to the police that you had sex with this underage victim. So your guilt on the CSC third is pretty evident. And the victim describes further, although you didn't confess to this part, that this was a forcible rape. And under the threat or perceived threat of a gun that you had in the car, and she was fearful. Of course I'm gonna sentence you to prison. So it would be my intention to sentence you on the upper end of these guidelines to 23 months in prison to 10 years. That's the most I can do under the guidelines. I don't see a reason to exceed those. I'll give you credit for 347 days previously served, $68 in state cost, 130 crime victims assessment, $60 DNA fee, $350 in court costs around the sex offender registry, which has already happened. And uh, that would be my sentence, Mr. Now, that does go beyond what the plea agreement was, which included a sentence agreement for a county cap. So if you wish, you can withdraw your plea, and then you can go to trial on the CSC 3rd. I'm going to give you a minute to talk with your attorney and see if what you want to do, if you want to go forward with the sentence I announced, whether you wish to withdraw your plea or whether you wish more time to think about it. So let's uh, give you a minute, Mr. Your Honor, yeah. um, would consider possible. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The judge identified what had happened and gave him the maximum sentence possible. The judge asked him if he wanted to opt for a jury trial. Let's see what happens next. All right, do you need some more time to go over yeah, the charges? Well, Mr. Wright, it's, it's a big decision with a lot of factors. So, uh, May 9th at 3 p.m. decision right now that you regret five minutes or five days or five months. I want you to take some time to think about it. So I think we'll come back on May 9th and give you the time to talk to Mr. Wright. Thank you. Yeah, week to May 9th doesn't increase by a single day how long you're going to be trying to Let's just give you time to think about that and talk to you more. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Well, the footage does not reveal what happened, but I am pretty sure he did opt for the trial because he already pleaded guilty to the crime. Do you have any type of anxiety or anything like that? No? Okay, come here, come here. On March 27, 2022, 
The Winter Garden police arrested a cheer coach who was accused of mo shit. Well, have you ever witnessed a crying suspect? Here we have one. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here, let's go. Come over here to my car. Come over here to my car. So when I stand down the middle of the road. I'll grab it. Right, just stand still for a second. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. Hey, do you have any type of anxiety or anything like that? No? Okay, come here. Come here. I got my phone in my pocket. We got, we, got your, we got your phone. And my keys in my pocket. Here, you sit, lean up against that. So, I'm going to share some, some information with you, all right? You're not handcuffed right now. I want you to remain calm and be cool, okay? Jerry, the lead officer on duty, actually knew this suspect, and he offered him a piece of information and advised him to stay calm. Okay, so your beef is not with us, okay? I understand, Sergeant House, and you have a relationship, okay, we want to maintain professionalism and respect, okay, but we still have a job for you, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to get you secured, we're going to confirm the warrant, okay, and we'll provide all the information with you, okay, and we will be, like I said, cordial, respectful, and mindful, okay? If you feel like you're going to pass out or if things are going to become too overwhelming for you, you need to relay that to me, okay, because your well-being at the end of the day is still a priority. I will make sure that we get you evaluated so nothing uh, escalates from there, okay? But if you take a look, everyone else here is being chill, okay, so Hello, need, brother, I'm not, we're not saying you are. What, I'm, what makes me concerned was your reaction, okay? I don't want you to have a panic attack, okay? That's what I don't want because stress is very, very powerful. I don't want to see that happen. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. It's probably my wife calling me. All right. Here's what we're going to do Wait. for now. Let's go away. It appears that the cops actually do not know why the suspect wants to be arrested. They were not provided the full information, but they have a guess that the suspect must have molested a bond man. Let's wait for let's wait for confirmation. Did we send for confirmation? No, not yet. Let me do let's, that. Let's go ahead and send. This back to report. You can show one secure at this time. Can you send for confirmation. So, so you, you understand you're not free to go at this time, okay? Although you're not physically handcuffed, you're essentially are being detained until we send for confirmation. Typically. Someone be handcuffed right now. <clears throat> okay. Did you send on one or two? Okay. I'm just so I can Oh, yeah. Everything's, everything's kind of wrong. I think we're short dispatchers today. They had time go on, on one earlier today. Yeah. So. Is Kelly home? Are you home this morning? What was it? You said you got his phone? Yeah. Is there a passcode or anything to your phone? All eights. All eights. Is that the... Huh? To, to come up right? To be 100% honest with you, one of the directives we got was to collect your phone. So I have to seize your phone for evidence. That must allow to let you open it. So what's going to happen is they're going to get a search warrant. This isn't our case, so I, I don't know what's going to happen. This is Lake County. All we got was a, they contacted us and said, hey, we want you to go and, and find this guy. And since I knew you, I'm like, I would rather be me than somebody else because I don't know how somebody else is gonna treat you. Okay. So, 
So, so what's what's happening is there's a warrant. Somebody, somebody in Lake County or Claremont, I forget who it is, mm -hmm. has probable cause for charges. Okay. They've got a thirty thousand dollar bond. So that means you got to go see a bondman. And you have to pay that bondsman ten percent of that thirty thousand. What's that? What's what? Three three thousand dollars <throat> to a bondsman. These aren't my charges. I have no idea what the what the details Your beef are. Is not what I'm yeah, uh, they were just they they called us and said, "Hey, we would like you to go and pick him up." So, so, okay. so I can't ask, my ask me whatever questions can you I want. Call my attorney. Not right now, but whenever because we we got to take you to the Orange County Jail because we can't go to Lake County. Orange County. We got to take you to the Orange County Jail. So I got to get a bondsman from Orange County. So here's here's the tricky part. Once you get there, you're going to be put in a big room full of telephones. Make all of your phone calls then. I don't know the numbers. What? I'll get you. We'll get you a piece of paper with all the numbers. Any numbers you want, we'll get you a piece of paper. Okay. Okay. What if my attorney says they're not allowed to use my phone? What do you mean? Like to get my phone. So here's what's going to happen. Your attorney can't tell us not to seize your phone. If they if they feel like if so, I don't know the case. So I'm just giving you very general information here okay if the detective or the the police officer who ever got this warrant if they can show to a judge that they have probable cause that there is evidence on your phone of a crime either this one or, or another one whatever then they can petition that judge for a search warrant if that judge grants a search warrant then they can go through your phone and your attorney can't stop them because they'll be given a, a search warrant by the by a judge okay I'm just taking my, your phone per their direction. I'm not going through your phone. I'm not going to look at your phone. The only thing we might do is we'll open it up and get the phone numbers that you want. Which okay, and you'll presence. be you'll be in view to see what we're how we're manipulating your phone to see what we're getting. And everything on our end is being audio and video. Okay. So if if they don't have probable cause to go through your phone, then you'll get your phone back and, and that'll be the end of it. But again, I don't know any details. I'm just giving you general information on how it usually usually works. Okay. Thirty thousand. Sorry. So, so it's a thirty thousand dollar bond. If you go to a bondsman, they charge you ten percent of whatever the bond is. You pay them three thousand dollars, and they will put up the thirty thousand. Does that make sense? So the bondsman is paying your thirty thousand dollars, which they will get a return to them whenever you show up to court. They keep your three thousand. That's how they make money. Like I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a chance. When, whenever, whenever we get to a point of if if this is confirmed, because it happens where so I know brother, I know. Okay, so sometimes it, sometimes it's not confirmed. If they can't pull that warrant out and have it in their hand, then we walk away. You go home. So there's a process. They they physically have to go into a room, find that exact warrant, and hold it in their hand for the confirmation. And if, if we get a call back that they have it, I'll let you call your wife and you can you can let her know what's going on. And then we'll have to put these on and then this young lady's gonna take you. Okay? What? Let's you wanna grab his phone so we can start working on phone numbers? Just in the event that uh it's confirmed. The cops want to avoid undue arrest. They assured the suspect that they would wait for an order for his arrest, but he should contact whoever he wants to contact because the instructions given were to seize his phone. The suspect placed a call through to his wife while waiting for confirmation of his arrest. Uh, call my mom? Okay. And then, um, uh, um, um, I will, get, can you go to pain so I can give you my attorney's number? Yeah. What's it under? Uh, Mark, I, 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 got, I can't oh, let you Mark, have the phone back. Mark Longwell. Thank you. How do I get to cancel? Uh, I want to put a search. Mark. Orange County? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. It's going to be the uh, Mark Orange Longwell. County booking Longwell. and receiving facility yeah. okay. in uh, downtown Orlando. Um, Kelly, um, I'm sorry. Can you write down this number? Yeah. 407. 
5757. So if you have your wife's number and that number, you should, everything else can be coordinated. Okay. 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 Uh, no, ma'am. We're we're still we're still confirming some details. Okay, this is likely going to be the potential outcome. Um, so we're just trying to extend every courtesy we can. Once once some information gets confirmed, he'll get transported right directly to the. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing. No, I just I just put in it in airplane County. mode. Oh, okay. And then if you have any other questions, Sergeant House there. Um, okay. will be so working today until 6 p.m. Is that the only time He'll he'll reach you, so he'll have to go through a whole uh, booking and receiving that you don't know off the top process of your head. at the jail. And at one point, there's a whole numbers. wall of phones. Okay. He'll be nice. allowed to make um, um, phone calls at that point. And we're writing down all the numbers that he's uh, requested right now, which will go with him. Uh, and uh, he'll be able to contact you at it's that point, boss. and uh, he'll be able to uh, boss, figure it out from there. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay, and if you need Sam. any, if you need any other information, um, you can contact any officer that's that's Sam. working. And Sergeant House, from what I understand, you guys you guys know each other. He'll be working until six p.m. today. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Kelly, do you have Jerry's number? Uh, no, she just uh, called. Yeah. yeah. I, okay, I just wanted to make yeah, sure. Yeah, just, just look and confirm that you have it. If, if not, I can give it to you. Uh, go ahead and give it to me. Since I'm okay, here. I'm going to give you my work cell phone number. That one's always with me. It's 407 832 0079. 407 832 Yes. Okay. Okay, I got everything. Okay. Okay, ma'am. We uh, we appreciate uh, your help here. If you need anything else, you just contact that's us. His, okay. That's his lawyer, Mark. That's your lawyer. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Any other numbers? Good, you, you want to say goodbye? Bye, Kels. Tell Arias I love him. Bye. I will. Okay. Any other numbers? You... Okay. 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 Is there any other numbers in here that you feel like you might need? I don't. Okay. Do airplane mode in I already got an airplane mode, so just keep that in his property. This goes with the phone. We'll put that in your property so that you can take it with you. Once we get, once we get huh? it. No, he cannot take this. This is. Oh, you guys put this in the property. Okay, so put that into property at the PD. No, no, no. This goes with her. I'll take the glasses. These two go into property with us. So your keys and any because we haven't searched it yet, and I know you don't got any weapons or anything on you. I'm confident that. Soon, the warrant for his arrest was confirmed, and he was arrested and taken to Orange County Jail. Sometimes the way that the jails work, they'll allow you to get uh, bonded out from the arresting county because these, this is two counties. This warrant was issued in Lake County. We're arresting you in Orange County. We can't take you to Lake County. We can only take you to Orange County. So if they're going to extradite, then they'll transport you to Lake County and you'll get bonded out there. Okay. And I don't know, I don't know if this is one of those cases or not. The vast majority of time, you just get bonded out in, in Orange County. The best thing to do is have Kelly call in about three hours. It's a long booking process. Okay. I gotta call my school. Which school? Orange County. Uh, like, uh, uh, I gotta call the school board. Kelly can handle that. You don't need to worry about that right now. Okay. Uh, will I get a chance to talk to him? To Kelly? Whenever you get to the jail, you're going to have unlimited access to phones. You can just start making phone calls. Yeah, that means be long distance. Phone numbers long distance. Yeah, it's, it'll, you can call. You can call numbers. They, they can let you, you can call whoever you want. It's the only number I know. She's, uh, this officer put, um, put, uh, the other phone numbers that you ask for on a piece of paper that you'll get when you get there. Okay, Mark and Sam. Okay. 
So you'll be able to call all those people whenever you get there. Charged and justice was served accordingly. Try to put your hands up. Put your hands out the window. Slowly grab your keys and step out of your vehicle. The arrest of 43-year-old Jason Brower is next on our radar. Jason labeled himself daddy for the little one. The cops knew about this horrific online person, but weren't sure who it was. To catch this predator, an investigator opened an account profiling her as a minor girl age 15. Jason left his home to meet the online minor at the agreed meeting point, but he was greeted by the police upon reaching the place. Try to put your hands up! Put your hands out the window! Slowly grab your keys and step out of your vehicle. Hands up, face away from me. Step out, face away from me. Face yeah, away from me. Around. Slowly walk back with their hands up. Face away. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Face away, keep walking, stop. Get down on your knees. Are there any guns in the car or anything like that? Okay. You said no one else is in the car. Obviously, this wasn't the first time Jason would embark on a journey like that. He was smart to keep his wife and his two children naive from his actual profile and portrayed another personality entirely. His wife claimed that she never knew he was a party to this kind of thing. Jason must have some horrible plans for the minor he met online. His conversation revealed that he is going to come with some protection if he needs one. He was going to bring protection if he was going to use it, so anything like that, and then... Yeah, if there's condoms or anything related to this, okay, cool. let's just, just let's try everything else then, yep. and then we'll, you'll take it as evidence. Yep. The police searched his vehicle and found it, which will leave you in awe. It's a cell phone, you want to take a picture of the cell phone? Yeah, yeah. I took a picture of that. Got that? Okay. Um, can you take a picture of that loop that was in that bag? How can you come here? Well, I mean, there is a lunch packed in the back. Maybe he didn't want to use his card to bring anything in. That's why it smells like I got Really? Anybody want some? Where was that in that little thread thing? Yep. Oh. Just... Here, Jason was a smart predator. He was taken to the interrogation room, but he won't speak until he sees his attorney. Following his arrest, Jason was transported to jail. It was later revealed that he messaged several male and female couples, often in detail, at local hotels, involving several activities. Jason was charged with felony He was sentenced to three years in prison and seven years of extended supervision.
parked in the middle of the street, so nobody can come down oh. And there's these people in the apartment. What's that lady in the apartment in the street? Did you like that? I do. I'm like, you see the... Well, they're, they're not close right. Uh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, they're backwards. Because the haters have put them on backwards. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we saw instances where predators were arrested because of their acts. It's a good thing that the cops and other law enforcement agencies worked pretty well to see that these people did not go unpunished. We hope that the activities of these predators are greatly reduced. Please consider showing your support by liking this video, and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.